in sub-Saharan Africa was steady over the last decade and is set to further grow to a forecasted 5.2% in 2014 from 4.7% in 2013. Mineral resources from the continent are in high demand and countries are having additional revenues. Africa is on the rise. Yet the continent is also grappling with epidemics, insecurity, lack of clean water and adequate sanitation in rural areas. Conflicts in Central African Republic, Mali and South Sudan continue to force thousands into exile. So it is important that nobody is left behind. Representatives from both African and global institutions, civil society organizations and the private sector came and spoke up at the Africa Rising Forum in New York on September 22nd. Besides extractive industries, telecom sector is one of the greatest successes at the moment in Africa, the forum heard, but to further strengthen the sector, African leaders need to release state control. Transforming Africa and ensuring the inclusion and well-being of its people requires investments in democratic institutions, civil society says. Yet Africa has not built such institutions. A new generation of leaders is looking at Africa differently, making it more inclusive and decentralized, Kenyan president pointed out. Integrating African societies, empowering and building institutions, not personalities, will make Africa's transformation impactful, he added. While the youth and women activists called for Africa's transformation to be inclusive, it was also recognized that Africa has resources, but not enough capacity to handle them. Investments are needed, and having pro-business policies, smart partnership between government and private sector are also needed, Sam Kutesa, president of UN General Assembly, said. So as long as there is clarity, transparency, policy predictability and rule of law, business will play its part, Mo Ibrahim concluded.